Good afternoon and welcome to Rubbing Minds. I am Oscar Onyiso and thank you for joining us uh, once again this Sunday, um, a week after February 14th, so to speak. <laughs> the month of love and uh, well, on record, it's probably one of the days in the history of Lagos where the traffic was just unprecedented and yet they say there's no Valentine. But uh, on a much more lighter note, it is said that um, for you to be truly happy, you only need three things. Someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for. I have a man in the studio who has uh, set aside his life, so to speak, and uh, his mission is to bring joy to the world and the new generation of young Africans. He goes by the name Chude Jidongo. He'll be here with us. We're also going to be talking about the business of entertainment. Uh, a lot of people see the glam, you read about it, but is there any business? Can you invest in entertainment? Is it scalable? All these questions will be addressed by a very diverse man who, who knows the business. He's made some um, very good strides. And when he says it is what it is, it is what it is. Sam uh, Onyekwile will be joining us here from Trace. He's the managing director. And of course, last but not the least, entertainment segment, we have the lovely Lamy Phillips, but I must see who will be here to talk about something new and uh, something to look forward to and basically what she's been up to this last couple of months. But first things first, we're going to kick off with a man who probably needs no introduction, a prolific writer, journalist, and uh, someone who has spent a lot of time in his closed doors thinking and writing and knowing what next for the young Africans. Chude Jidonwo is here with us in, well, in his studio. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, used to be your studio. Used to be studio, yeah. Fantastic. Great to have you, Chude. Thank you for having me. Um, well, thank you for having me as well. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, we, we don't really get a chance to, to discuss yeah. on, on a public platform like this. Yeah. And congratulations on everything you've achieved so far. Thank you. I think that, that must be said. And uh, Joy Inc., that is the new project. That is yeah. the new face of, of Chude, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Um, why, why is, or what is Joy Inc. about? Let's start mm. with that. Well, we say that simply, what Joy Inc. does is it teaches young people, especially, well, it teaches people, especially young Africans, the skills and the tools they need to be happy, to mm. be resilient, and to flourish in their lives, in their homes, and in their work. That's what we do. Um, essentially, what I want to do is something that has always bothered me about Nigerian society, and many African societies, this emotional tautness, this, you know, almost an emotional stinginess. That is reasonable when you look at the circumstances that we face. And I've always thought, how can we, how can we have societies that are kinder and more compassionate and more empathetic? And I've never thought I could do anything about it. I'm like, this is the way it is. Now. So focus on your own journey. <laughs> and then it's, I began to read up on the research based on my own personal experience. I showed that it is possible to do something about this. And that's, that's what Joy Inc. And, is and, and what was that turning point, the Eureka moment, where you're mm. like, you know what, I don't want to do red media anymore because mm. we know you resigned from red media. Yeah. Um, and also a statement you even put there where you said you're an accidental entrepreneur. I'll touch yeah. on that very, very soon. Very. But when was that Eureka moment for you? Yeah. Was it um, a conversation? Yeah. Was it you woke up in the middle of the night? What was it? What switched that light on? Well, the two things. In terms of deciding to live a different life, um, you have to blame Biola Alabi, who was from MD of MNET. He gave me a book <laughs> called Finding Your True North, um, about seeking authentic leadership in the world. And the book essentially challenged me to ask myself, what did I really want to do? Not what did I half want to do? What did I really want to do if I wasn't afraid? What did I wake up in the morning thinking about? What did I wake up in the morning wanting to do? Um, that was in 2014, I think. Mm. 2016, however, I remember that we just won a big client at Red, uh, one of our companies, Red Media Africa, we just beer, just won a big client. And I was happy, but then I was tired. Mm. I just thought this new client requires new meetings, new planning, new strategy. I, began, I became afraid of doing the work, mm. <laughs> you know? And so I thought to myself, oh my goodness. So I called my friends um, and I said, look, this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling frightened about success, so to speak. I'm feeling frightened about the work. I'm, I'm feeling frightened about, and I, I'm on the bus, so I'm not, <laughs> but I was frightened of, I just like, this is more work, this is more work, this is more work, and I wasn't ready for more work. And so they told me to find something else to do. Everybody thought it was a phase, yeah? So to find something else to do. It can't be middle, middle, middle age crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it, can't be, it can't be middle age crisis. And you know, this was when people, what people called the, at that time, of course, we're just starting our journeys, but at that time, 
we just moved it to a new level of influence. We just finished working on the Buhari campaign. You know, our names were buzzing. So That's you and Debola Williams. Me and Debola, yes. And I mean, me and Debola, the whole team, Shea Bukola, everyone. And we're just done 10 years. We're just celebrated 10 years of the future. So, you know, these were great times. Um, but I was just, I'm like, no, I, I didn't want to do this work, this work anymore. Mm -hmm. And so they said, okay, take a break. So I went, I called my dean, who had the off asked me to come and teach at the Pan-Atlantic University. And I didn't have the time. I said, look, I'm, I'm ready to teach now. It calls me, gives me a cost. And so I go and do that. But after I did that, I had fun. I enjoyed it. I still do it. I still mm -hmm. teach media. Um, but I thought, this is not it. This is not it. There's something else I want to do. And this is not the answer. It's, it's, scary, it's scary hearing this from you because yeah. you are somebody who, um, along with your team, have accomplished I mean, some, some really good stuff. Yeah. And you would think that that would equate to joy yeah. and happiness and fulfillment. Yeah. But yeah. I, will I be right or wrong in saying that you were unhappy? Well, I feel, uh, you know, so first, my personality type is melancholy. So <laughs> I, I didn't notice. <laughs> I <didn't notice. laughs> so I tend towards melancholy. So for me, happiness is not my default setting. It's something I've had to work towards. In terms of my career, it, it didn't mean that my work didn't make me unhappy. It just made me overwhelmed. Mm. Um, and that's what, so it wasn't that I didn't enjoy what I was doing. I do enjoy what, I did enjoy that, the work. It just wasn't at that time. Mm. After doing it for 13, for at that time, 11 years, it just wasn't what I wanted to keep on doing. And I had no models for this. I mean, it's almost inconceivable. If you have a job, you're powerful, you're, you guys make some money, you, um, you, you know, you are the boss, and all these things. So, and it's your business, mm. and it's succeeding. I didn't have any models for, like, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to keep doing it. Like, <laughs> what are you saying? On. You have to carry on. And so for me, it's like, no, the fact that it's my business, does that mean that this is my assignment at this point in time? Mm. And that's the question I began to ask myself. That does that, did that mean the fact that I founded it, the fact that I love it, mm. the fact that I think that we are doing deeply important work, does that mean that I'm the person to lead it at this time? Let's dance now, it is my time.